Hello, it's a beautiful day and how are you all doing? I hope you are enjoying your day. We're here to make the day even much better. I'm Jimmy, my Emmanuel, and I'm so glad you could join us for today's life. Um, we'll be looking at a very beautiful and interesting topic today. Why must I be in a relationship? Why must I be? in a relationship it's really a dicey topic i hope you would sit back and enjoy the discussion today a lot of people find themselves in a relationship that is really toxic for them others are enjoying it but then do you have to be in one why should you not be in one why joyce is here with me solomon sambo and the gm Jen. So <laughs> So why did she start with you? Okay, gender. I wanted to oh. start it again. Start it again. Okay, okay, okay. After, 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 after doing a brilliant I have start your introduction I again. So I'm starting from here, that way, or from there, this way. So I don't even know what I have to start from. Okay, you do. You just want to be unique. And you spoiled it. Okay, I have Tony Nakali, <laughs> you spoiled Joyce it. Jakada, and Solomon Sambo. Good morning. Good morning. You, say, you, look, you, look, you look good. Thank you, sir. As a matter of fact, hosting the show today fits your outfit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's so, good, it's good to be here. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's good to be here. So, why must I be in a relationship? We don't know. <laughs> Yeah, it's a question you I'm say asking. I, you say you. No, why, no, must okay. you? why must you be in a relationship? Not you. You like <laughs> because because I want to mingle. Okay, okay. Mm. See mingle. an unbeliever. See like an unbeliever. See an unbeliever's <laughs> answer. <laughs> you want to mingle? Mingle in church. We are mingling. <laughs> Minglers, mingler, mingles. No, what I mean, I want. To wow. I want he to wants relate. to mingle with his wife. What's the? Okay. What I mean, I want to relate. Okay. Do you get? Yes, I uh, get. I want to associate. I'm okay. yet to get. Now, wow. <laughs> I'm yet to get. <laughs> so, you are also mingling. I'm not mingling, no. What are you doing? Well, you asked the question. You are singling. <laughs> you asked the question. I'm single, but I think I must be in a relationship. I should be in a relationship. Ooh. No, she didn't ask you should. You should okay. say why. Okay, I think I would like to ask. Mm. Should yes, must I, should, be, in must I be in a relationship? Yes. Must one be in a relationship? Yes, okay. So, you must sample what kind of relationship? Um, love relationship with Jesus, or <laughs> with what kind of love with the opposite sex? Okay, oh. yes, like boyfriend, girlfriend, yes, husband, yes, wife. yes. <laughs> Okay. Is it husband, wife, or boyfriend? Let's get this. Case, right? Both. Joyce both. will be confusing people. Both. It goes both ways. Anytime you wear black skirt, you don't. You keep confusing people. <laughs> I'm crying. The study drug. I start. No other ground is no. Okay. But when we stand on what, that ground, we need What's see. your answer? What would you say? <laughs> <laughs> Some people think they are the only ones that are Christians. I'm not dragging the Christian. <laughs> yes. So I would like to know what you think. Is um. Did you read one from my scripture? There's no scripture in my notes. Oh, 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 oh. Did you went to school? <laughs> 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 Joyce, you are teaching me bad English in church. <laughs> 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 so I didn't have to greet you as usual. I've just seen it. And I want to avoid greeting. That's why I wore it. Okay, sir. <laughs> when you see it, you just know that I'm saying hi. Hi, hi. hi me in your mind that passed. Okay, sir. <laughs> I think it's both ways. The, the answer is yes and no, depending on the situation. Okay. If it's not time yet, it's a no. In fact, it's, it's a red light if it's not time yet. If you are not convinced, it's a no. And I think to have a balance on the show today, 
I think this should set the the ball rolling. It's yes, you should be in a relationship, and no, you should not be in a relationship. If it's not time yet, don't be. If you are not convinced, don't be. If you are not sure who the person is, which is also another form of conviction, mm. don't be. If you are highly convinced, be in it. If it's time, be in it. Even if it turns sour at the end, you move on. But if it's not time, it's, no, you, do, you, do, you don't have to. Okay. Well, I agree with him strongly. Mm-hmm. Because... <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for the sound of the punch. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Ghost! <laughs> Don't joke with Grace. South side of heaven. <laughs> I'm from the central zone. <laughs> <laughs> Don't joke with Grace. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I think based on what you said, I think we have we have answered the show. Mm-hmm. Because <laughs> I, I feel it, okay. You see, it's yes and no, like, like he said. said. <laughs> because um, <laughs> if it's not time, mm. don't deceive yourself. Mm. And that is why in the beginning I mentioned mingle because that's the reason why some people go into relationships. They want to mingle because that's what is trendy. You understand? And then they feel, let them just be in the relationship. They don't know whether they are even ready or not. Not, not like they feel we you feel see, because you, you said, I said you said that because you said yes you will be in a relationship so that you can mingle so if it's if you are making the illustration or explain say so that we that are mingling can see, that's our it, reason it, like, on this set uh, it is still allowed for you so don't you, don't exempt yourself no wait yeah. let's well, have a shot of both of them let <laughs> 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 me sit back relax yes, enjoy sir. the show please let's have one shot for the two of them you see, you need that on, 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 <laughs> on, on this show, it is allowed for you to even learn on the show. Okay. And then give out the little that you know. Okay. So that's a two seat because at the end of the day, there will be altar call. I'm sure you will repent from the idea of. Come home. <laughs> <laughs> want to mingle. Those who are with <laughs> you and all your association you of minglers will repent. Preached, that preach to you about social media and the rest, <laughs> and then the person left you without giving you Bible. <laughs> Up to now, I'm still struggling. Okay, you know, there are. Are. I if you're on social media, you have a phone, you should download. If you download head Facebook, you should be able to download Bible. There are free Bibles. On social <laughs> he didn't get it. He didn't get it. <laughs> okay, oh, wow. Yes. You, you, you didn't get, get it. it. I want to get point. it. You know, okay, okay, okay. On a particular okay. show, okay. I told them that it's not, it's not healthy for you to be on social media. And at the end of the, the show, they convinced me. That like why can't you be you on on on, on, on social media yeah. so that you can draw people to Christ? Mm. And then after me repenting, mm. after her preaching to me about social media, mm. and she left me without phone. So how, so how can how I? How will you be there? Okay. <laughs> how will I? How will I be there? You travel there through imagination. <laughs> and that's, <laughs> that's that's what, what I'm I'm doing, but it's not fair. See, these, these preachers you know, of these my, days, they tell you go and look for your the, Bible. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm done preaching to you. No more so, GDS so, International. No, 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 no. Yes. Mm. So, so you see. It's free, but it's expensive <laughs> to <laughs> transport it. <laughs> Can we start the show, please? Exactly. <laughs> yes. So, on my point, on okay. my point, please. Okay. Make your point. point. Yes. So, um, some people don't even know the reason why they are in a relationship. So, they feel this relationship thing is a must thing. That even if it's time, because you mentioned time. Is it time for you to be in a relationship? It can be time. But it doesn't mean because it's time that you can also be. Because you have to be sure. You have to be convinced. It's time. Right? So that means I can be in a relationship. Because, yes, I'm matured. But am I sure with the person that I'm going into the relationship with? That can 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 even stop me from the not other going person also matured. <laughs> it also matured to even go into that relationship. Yes. So I feel uh, like you rightly said earlier, the, the 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 topic is dicey, but I feel it's something that uh, everyone out there can relate with. So uh, I I feel it's yes and no. My my answer is, is a straightforward answer. Oh. I, I won't be in between. So, <laughs> I'm not a comingler. I cannot be. <laughs> the, 
that's why I said for me, it, it's a straight answer. Mm. I don't want to mingle. I don't want to be in between. So the question, must I be in relationship? Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, for me, I would say no. You uh, don't have to be. Uh, you, uh, why did you collect? You know, allow me to. <laughs> no, both of them. Okay, you, 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 okay, no, you don't have to be. In true, uh, let her make. Let her finish her weak point. <laughs> her. Okay. Was I be in relationship? Yes. But I would like to put everybody in context so that I'm not misrepresented or misunderstood. Mm. When I mean uh, yes, is healthy relationship. Because today, there are a lot of relationships that are existing. Mm. A lot of unhealthy relationships. It doesn't have to look like this. <laughs> <laughs> and all of that. <laughs> but the context in which I'm saying yes is a healthy relationship. The relationship that was established from the beginning. So should I be, must I be? Yes, I should be. Because I cannot be the yeah, one that will stop. No, that's why I said the context healthy. You can't be in a healthy relationship when it's not tight. Okay. I'm glad you understood. So no, I'm trying to. <laughs> okay, keep trying to understand. <laughs> but I, I must be in a relationship because it's important for my mental, for my emotional, even physical well-being. Like, imagine you've been all alone. Mm. The Bible says, after creation, God said it is not good. He said it is not good for the for man, the woman to be alone. for the man to be alone. And I didn't know you had become a man. And he created a helpmate for him. So, so is it the woman that is not good for to be alone, or is it the man that is not good for to be alone? In this context, it's not good for both of them to be alone. Okay, we quote, the, so we quote the scripture that says it's not good for a woman to be alone. <laughs> so you see, the scripture said it's not good for a man to be alone. Mm. And that is why the concept of marriage came to be companionship and all of that. Look at how beautiful this union is. Think about you existing just for you. Like today, I've, I've, I've seen a lot of ladies come up with different ideologies, come up with different styles. I'm a this, I'm a this, I'm a that. Mis even misinterpreting certain... Uh, um, Oh, I'm a feminist. I don't need a man, independent woman. I'm a strong woman. I can give the happiness I need, companionship I need. I can have all of this. And you get, so people come up with all of these ideologies. I can be, you know, I don't need anybody around me. I can take myself out. I can afford to eat anything. You don't need a man. You don't need. And just some months later, I'm seeing independent woman saying this independent woman journey is not easy. Mm. Who is going to take care of? See, you cannot distort what was in the beginning. And then, have you not noticed that a lot of people that even come up to say, um, I, you don't have to be in a relationship, all this relationship has come, whether marriage or married or, or single, a single a relationship has come, don't let anybody deceive you, you can live your life as single, even fulfilled. You can even walk out of the relationship like marriage, you can walk out of the marriage if the thing is not uh, working or if you're not, you think that you want to go out there, just leave. Like, you don't have to be in relationship. But you find out these people are the ones that are becoming relationship therapists. Mm -hmm. You find out that these people are writing all kinds of things. Every day when they make posts, it's about, like, against relationship. If that is not what is in your mind, you won't sit and be writing about it. Because even you, you know that this yeah, it's just a way of you consoling yourself that, mm -hmm. ah, there's nothing wrong in you not being in relationship. But you see that companionship, like I said earlier, you cannot distort what was in the beginning. God saw that it's not going to be good for you to be alone. I've had also people say, like men, they will tell you that, ah, if I know that I'll get to this stage in my life, I will not be married. Okay, is it that so that they can be alone and just focus on their work? No. For most people that will make statements like this, okay, so that you can have different ladies out there. Okay, when I want this person, I can go. When I want this person, I can go. You, do, you are not caged by any um, um, bond or any oath that you took. It's also a relationship. You hear people say, ah, you can just keep a woman. You can just, ah, even as a lady, you hear the lady saying, ah, all I need to do is just for me to just get pregnant and give birth. Why can't you get pregnant on your own? And then why are we still bringing all of these things to cover up for that, uh, for what was in the beginning mm -hmm. so i think relationship healthy relationship you should be in it i have a question for you mm -hmm. are you in a healthy relationship yes i am mm -hmm. 
okay, um, personally, I feel you don't have to be in Joyce just like it. I thought I was the only one that felt it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel attacked. Wow. <laughs> so if we... Side, stay one side. Wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Joyce, okay. You are in a relationship we are not aware. What's the name of the human being? What's so the name of the man that should not be alone? Because you people are not aware that means relationship is not healthy. <laughs> what, is, what is the name of the man that should not be alone? That man that <laughs> when when the cat come, you see his name. <laughs> I hope you didn't go back to that. Which <laughs> let me tell you, Joyce came to my office. Okay. Go ahead. No, they don't want to know. No, please want to know. Sir, you have to be so stupid. You have to be so stupid. You have to be so stupid. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Sorry, I'm going. sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> I have to be so stupid. I have to be so stupid. Take a chair. You have to be so stupid. I have to be so stupid. Joyce. That's Joyce. another Joyce. It's not this one seated <laughs> I here. I didn't taught you that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't teach you that. Take this and clean your tears. <laughs> <laughs> so oh you know, God. you know, if if people say, if people say, yes, you must be in a relationship. If you must be in a relationship, then you must have issues. Anything you must do, you must have the negative side of it. It's not you cannot run away from it. You see, relationships are not meant to be easy. Because it's challenges upon challenges upon challenges. And the ability to create solutions upon solutions upon solutions will make you further. Will, for, will, will make you go for, further in your, in your relationship. Should people be in a relationship? You see, I said earlier, it's yes and no. Some people are not armed for it. Why would you go to a war? With 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 uh, 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 with nothing in your hands, you are not armed. At least when David was facing Goliath, he had a sling. Yeah, he he had at least that was his weapon. But you see, we don't even have anything in our hands, but we want to go for war. Why are you going to be in a relationship? Because everybody is posting sweet things online. It's, it's online. Do you know what happens offline? You don't know. It is. Pajamas. They said they said <laughs> that uh, <laughs> somebody posted that uh, that those of you that are cutting people off in December, please don't forget me. <laughs> that please remember me. Those of you that are cutting people in December, remember me. You know, um, Jemima, the people I said this I think uh, last week. The the people who are afraid of being on their own are yet to discover who they are. There is nobody that can love you more than you love yourself. And the moment you understand that, you will not be afraid to be alone. You can never be afraid to be alone. It's not a good thing to be alone. You need companionship. You need all of that. See, we went to, um, to Kaduna a very long time ago. A woman invited us to come and pray with her daughter. The daughter loves to sleep with men but she doesn't love she doesn't want to have any relationship with anybody you don't want to know her body count she lost count like yes we prayed and prayed and prayed and eventually the mother died right yes yeah, so we lost touch with uh, the girl's name was Rhoda so we lost touch with the girl but the mother died eventually I think it was accident or so I can't remember she was a widow and she was this very strong Christian that she believed everything she does should be backed up by prayer. So we traveled from Abuja with my late friend also. We traveled from Abuja and went to see the girl. Very pretty girl. And we talked, I engaged her, we were talking before we prayed. And I asked her, I said, why don't you like relationship? 
That's this thing is like twenty years now, almost two decades. She said, "Why would she be in a relationship?" Before her father died, she didn't like the way her mother was treated. All her friends, so she would rather just look for anybody in the angwa. Yes, if you if you feel like if she feels like being with a man, she she approaches any man that she knows in the area. So she so I asked her. I said, "This man, do you know them?" She said, "I don't care." That her satisfaction is what she's after. You see, you will not say that what she's she's doing is right. You will also not say that uh, what she's doing is wrong. I know that is a sin before God. But look at what people have made other people think about something that God said is supposed to be enjoyable. Anytime you decide in life that you are going to be a governor, that is when forces against becoming governors governor uh, uh, start attacking you. Anytime you say I want to be a good married woman that is when forces will start coming against that decision you have made. But anytime you sit down and say anything that happens, happens for good. Nothing, no, no, you, there's nothing for the devil to challenge in your life. But you see, if you have decided <clears throat> that you are going the way of the Lord, the devil does not go the way of the Lord. Because they have always had conflicts. So I want us to always think. I want us to always think. This relationship thing, is it worth it? That is the first question. If it's yes, enter and don't complain. If it's no, stay alone. You are far from being found for any complaints or anything. You are far from being found complaining. But you see, if you have to, people don't regard the fact that anything that is consequential, that you go in, you will meet the consequences because already it is consequential. If you don't want to, don't go into it. Have you met people that have been spoken to about or against Solomon Sambosad? But they said, if it's not solo, it's nobody else. And the same people come back to the family. Say, this is what I'm going to do. We told you, yes. I loved him. Love is not enough. I keep saying this. No matter how someone expresses love to you, it is important, but it is not enough. As a matter of fact, as far as my school of thought is concerned, 30% of your relationship should be love. 70% should be your willingness to keep to God's marital commitments and vows or relationship commitments and vows. If you don't, because the love between a man and woman cannot prevail over, cannot jump over, cannot stand over, cannot be up, heads and shoulders above the word of God. Jamima, is it not unfortunate today that people leave what the Bible says about love and they start reading novels, watching movies to have an idea of what yes. love is? See, these people can never teach you love the way God does. They will teach you love the way they have experienced it. Mm. And then you follow it and when <clears> it goes <throat> bad, you say, relationship now has come. They say seven say... spirits of love, <laughs> uh, 21 <laughs> keys to a man's heart, all of these things. No. It's Peter's heart. Mm. You are dealing with Jacob. Mm. None of these keys will unlock Jacob's heart. No. 21 keys unlocked Peter's heart. Mm. Jacob is different. You break up. You go to Asino. He he doesn't even use keys. Knock. They will open. (laughs) Do you understand? That's why they say different strokes for different folks. What? See, there are men that don't want their women cooking. Let's go out. And there are women that their hobbies, eh? My hobby is cooking. When I, I will finish you with food. She can cook stones if that's the only thing available. So you can't come. Everybody, this love works based on who you are related yes. with. And it works based on your knowledge of God's word. If the Bible says, man, provide. Man, secure. Man, love. Man, protect. That is love. If the Bible says, woman, submit. Lie down on the floor and greet him. Before he sleeps, make sure he eats dinner. Before this, do it. But you know what? There are people watching that. If he doesn't bring, I'm not cooking anything. You see, you will fail. 
The word of God does not care about your emotions. The word of God can watch you dying and not do anything because we have told you what to do not to die. Do you understand? You are busy crying, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Which kind of mercy do you want God to have? When he said, no, this is what I want you to do. Sometimes, if we know God's word, it reduces the rate at which we ask in our prayers. You know, most times, people ignore the standard. You see, when it comes to love, the perfect place to get the manual is the Bible. Like, is there any love that is greater than somebody giving his life for you? But we don't go there to read about, like, we don't go to the scripture to, to get our standard, our guide for what love is on how, or how we should love. And that is why some people, some preachers will tell you that, if he fears God, if she fears God, if he reverence God, that means whoever fears God will definitely live in obedience to the word of God. It means that how he loves you will be shaped by what the scripture says. But you think, you see, if somebody is reading another novel or is watching film to set standard for how he loves or how you also love, or you're waiting for your friend to tell you how her own um, fiance or her husband loves her to be what you will use as standard for your own husband or whoever your relationship to to love you you will fail because they are different people and even some of these people will find them online as uh, um, relationship therapists they are they are talking based on their own personal experience and Chukwe Emeka cannot be the same as Solomon so you cannot use the manual of another person to to expect that your own will work that way so the, the thing is that we ignore, for young people, we ignore red flags. And then we, because it's more like a trend, if I'm not in a relationship, people will think something is wrong with me. And everybody is flaunting. We're already in the, in the season. Uh, everybody wants to wear matching pajamas. So anybody that just comes your way, regardless of what he has been portraying or what you're seeing that is actually wrong, and people are telling you, be careful, this person, this person is this. And you're saying, no, how can I just be alone? People think something is wrong with me. I just accept relationship. You go into it. At the end of the day, you're being hot or your heart is being broken or you're being served breakfast and you say, men has come. No, I, I, do, I must not be in relationship. I can make myself happy. I, it's better for me to be at peace with myself and all of that. Like I said earlier on, my context is a healthy relationship. If you are in a healthy relationship, you will know that it brings out a lot in you. Like I said, it's, it's, it's good for your mental, emotional, even physical well-being. Imagine being around <laughs> somebody that loves you. Like I always say, nobody wants to stay where they are not appreciated. Everybody wants to be loved. So think about it that you are around somebody that understands you, somebody that loves you, somebody that is rooting for your success. Anybody that loves you wants to bring out the best in you. So why wouldn't I be in such relationship? So you see, relationship makes you, there are a lot of things that you learn from relationship. Just that time that you're thinking, I'm an independent woman, you're thinking about yourself. But if you're in relationship, you have somebody that you love, somebody so you cherish. You, you'll be thinking, it, it makes you selfless. Because whatever you get now, I'm not thinking of me. Oh, as I'm eating this, the picture that will come to your mind is that your loved one. Oh, love is a beautiful thing. Now you go to follow. <laughs> I don't want to come. <laughs> <laughs> love is a beautiful thing. I, man. <laughs> I saw a post earlier this year that love, <laughs> love is a beautiful thing. Is you that went to be following somebody that umul chase to I said this is an attack. <laughs> this is an attack. <laughs> this is an attack. <laughs> Ask Joyce a question. Okay. But you have been longing to say something. So I'll, I'll keep the question in my mind until you say what you have to say. Okay. <coughs> you see, those women that are saying uh, relationship is this, relationship is that, there's no problem. It's okay for them to feel that way and to say whatever they feel like saying it because simply they feel it's based they on don't. Their level of intelligence. Don't worry. Guys. That is it. But still at that, you know, just wait until they are. Like you it's uh, just no. Uh -huh. It's like that, sir. It's like that. Gus can kill because Gus can add that chip. You know. The truth is bitter. Thank you. So, 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 so exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this is not so the matter, sir. <laughs> Joyce, don't attack. Me. We were thinking I like. <laughs> just that for me. I was <laughs> almost confused. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> TV outside to what? the world. <laughs> yes, peace. <laughs> So <laughs> in charge of our service. <laughs> 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 it's, it's our house service. 
There are just three of them in the station. <laughs> but pride do not allow them. <laughs> <laughs> it's a blessing to be here. <laughs> so, um, let them just wait until they are 40, mm. 45, and 50. Mm. Then the reality will be You're done. Turn into the part uh, of so let's just allow that to 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 be slide, to slide you know but uh you, you see joyce this issue of uh relationship like she said earlier is dicey but you see the issue of yes and no like they walk hand in hand because you can be in a relationship and then the next thing you are not convinced, sir, like you said. And you become like you are not sure of the relationship. Yes, at I that mo- at that moment you activate the no. Activating the no is getting out of the relationship. Because you feel if you go into if you continue with that relationship, everything you talk about, your mental health, your whatever, whatever. It gets distorted mm. immediately. So it is very important for us to know that, yes, God created relationship because we are not supposed to live, you know, as uh, um, island. We are not supposed to uh, stay alone. That is why he said it's important. Uh, even though <laughs> the dear <GM> was asking, <laughs> it's not good for him to stay alone, I believe. Uh, he's looking at it from the angle who finds, you know, who determines the relationship Mm -hmm. because the man looks for the relationship and you allow him. Mm -hmm. So, him looking for the relationship, why? Is he ready mentally, physically, financially, Mm -hmm. financially in quote, Mm -hmm. not really financially because he has everything. But, But yeah, it's important. But the thing is that depending on the lady's financial standards, Yes, yeah. that, that one is, is why you should you should leave some women alone. Mm. Mm. So, so we, it's, it's wrong for men to criticize women for loving money or for wanting money. Mm. If that's her nature and you cannot cope, you leave her alone. Yes. Mm. Leave her for the man that can take care of her. There are some women that you will activate tell you. The no. Yes, you <laughs> activate the no and walk. You you head for walk the brothers. Mm. Mm. Yes, you see, you you have to start thinking, sir. If this lady says that I'm spending this amount. Mm. on my hair every month. I'm spending this amount on my nails. I'm spending this amount on my skin. I'm spending this amount on this. And every month, I spend nothing less than 50, 60,000. Okay. If that is a red flag for you, head for the borders. Can you ask Joyce the Soran Don't prove it. So you all back now so she can... In other words, look for the, the kind of the Joyce. If they do their all back, rob mm. for milk. You will learn the hard up. way. <laughs> <laughs> Don't play. You know, there is there is no woman. I'm I'm yet to meet a woman who doesn't love money, mm. right? Mm. I don't know. Is there a man out of men that when you sit and they are like, man, I need this guy is nice. I need it, and then they say, you you love good things. <laughs> if you think of it this way as a man, you won't you won't tell women mm. that they love money. Mm. Mm. See, we we must understand. When God created man and a woman, Adam did not have any love relationship. Mm-hmm. He just, he woke up married. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he woke up married. There's no, that, that is the, I'm thinking, that's the <laughs> highest expression of sincerity mm-hmm. when you are with someone. Mm. Is the, I, I, I've, I've learned a lot mm. from Adam's relationship mm. as, in, as a couple. Mm. <laughs> you know, mm. I imagine that okay, you underwent a surgery mm. and waking up, say, ah, ah, mommy, daddy, <laughs> and then you see solo, you say, ah, who is this? He say, it's your husband. I say, ah, glory be to God. Mm. I start going. Just imagine that kind of scenario. That was mm. what God made Adam go through. Mm. Maybe that was his original idea for relationship. But the one that we are suffering came with the package of the cost where he cost everything. Mm. The ass, the this and that mm. and the that. Mm. You know? But coming back to what I've been saying, don't think that a woman is materialistic. Mm. Most men that think women are materialistic cannot afford the women. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And even fem the men that don't have fem. even the mm. men that don't have the money, I'm sure you don't like yourself that you don't have money. Me? 
No, I <laughs> mean you as a man. I'm sure you you don't like yourself. Yeah, that you some don't of have them. Oh, I don't so have why money. would you? <laughs> so why would you be I, angry? I'm not that aware that I don't have money. Like you because like you the person, right? <laughs> yes, the person. Mm. <laughs> you don't like yourself, but you want somebody to like exactly. you. Exactly. So you see, another thing we get wrong is this. But you didn't ask the person. Self. I will, I will ask her. Is in my mind. You okay. don't love Let yourself. Keep mm. You don't love yourself yet. Mm. You want somebody to love you, and that's it's why not, I, it's I, not that there are men that it's not like they don't love themselves, but they are incapacitated to be richer. No, I'm not even talking no, no, about no, no, rich. No, 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 I'm saying, hold on. Mm. The, the, you see, there is a man that knows that this is a threshold for his earning. So he's living in one room somewhere and he's happy. If he wants to have a love relationship with you and you see his standard now and you are comfortable, program your mind to be comfortable for the rest of your life with that standard or walk away. You see, the problems that women have is expectation. Because he said, ah, one day he'll be rich. One day he'll be this, one day he'll be that. Mm-mm. Honestly, just make your mind up that I'm staying with this guy this way. If he becomes rich, fine. If he does not, your mind was made up at least from the beginning. But when you start making men to, ah, me, I want to eat shawarma. Me, I want to do, you have become demanding. Well, I'm, I'm just letting men understand the reality of who women are. Mm. Women love to be spent upon. They love to be spent upon. They want you to spend your money, even if it's 5K. Mm. Even if, There is a woman that told me, she said, Uncle T, how about at least even this bread, when he's coming home, he should bring it. Mm. But he will just come back home to us like that. Mm. And it's not like he doesn't have it. So you see, you see it, it, she has money to buy the bread. But eating your own bread, it was made at the same bakery. Mm. But the one that you bought with your money is sweeter. Mm. You are going to interrupt me. <laughs> okay, I wanted to add. It, it is another is another quality of being a good father mm. that even the singles don't even know while they are toasting women that they want to marry, but they don't have quality of being father. They don't know what it entails. To be a father. To be a father. Mm. Because you start it not when you are married. Mm. Yes. You imagine it mm. and you look at what are the quality. Mm. Do that do I do like I, am I am I equipped enough with those qualities mm. of being a father? Because there's, there's a difference between a father mm. and a husband. Mm. Two different mm. things. Mm. Because as <coughs> as a as, as a husband, you have your responsibility to the wife that you are bringing. Mm. The same way, you have a responsibility as a father because you are bringing her in. You are everything. Mm. That means even before the children will start coming. And one of it is that responsibility, even before the children will start coming, you are father to her. Mm. And you are a husband to her. Mm. So imagine now children start coming. Mm. You understand? So what are those qualities? It's a bigger picture of fatherhood. It, when that, they come, uh, uh, that is it. That's, so, that's why our African mothers mm. they don't say uh, when my husband is back. Say when our father is back. Yes. You know they say Babumu. that our, our, yes, mm. our father is Babumu. Our mm. father is not around. When our father comes, mm. we, we will do this. But the question I want to ask mm. is to Joyce, but it's applicable to all of us so that okay. it can make it can take us to the next phase of the the show. What is a healthy relationship? All right. Is there one particular definition of what a healthy relationship is, considering the fact that one man's trash is another man's treasure? Mm. All right. You know, earlier on when you were answering the question, was I doing relationship, you said it's a two-way thing, yes and no. And what made you said yes is when you think, when you are prepared for it, is the yes and why you said no when you are not prepared when you're not ready for it is actually a no mm. an unhealthy relationship or getting to a relationship that is unhealthy is a relationship that you're not prepared for it mentally physically emotionally you're not prepared for but it. at that point the relationship is not established how do you know whether or not it's healthy when the relationship is not established. because you said mm. uh, you, you just said something now you said um if you, you are not ready mm. then it's going to be an unhealthy relationship mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what? Oh. Okay, let me explain. When I said, um, when mind you, I didn't talk about readiness. I talked about it being the time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, when it's not the time, let's talk about it 
like physically you don't have what it takes for you to keep a woman or mm. to have children mm. you I don't do. okay the person does not okay. have okay. and then you're deciding to go into a relationship you don't you are, okay let's just use our context you're not even working you don't have any means for like Mom, you're GM. <laughs> okay he doesn't have any means or any source of income he's a, he's a and i did not point to him question. and then you want to go into relationship you want to go into marriage you so want people to that don't have jobs don't have right to be loved you don't have job <laughs> you are not doing any business you're not creating you don't have any source of income what are you doing you are just is an unhealthy relationship ah, yes. you shouldn't be in from the <clears> beginning <throat> it was work that came first before even so what would you say about matter that is sponsoring that's that's her business <laughs> she chose to be it <laughs> but it's wrong. and they're enjoying it they are enjoying she's not enjoying it it's momentary the enjoyment she will complain later <laughs> so, <laughs> for three years she will still grumble she has been grumbling since okay. she's, she has been saying she's tired so you see when i say prepared <laughs> when the relationship is healthy let me see the door that you walk out <laughs> after this show <laughs> <laughs> healthy relationship is that relationship that you are prepared mentally emotionally and physically there are certain things that you can take relationship is not without challenges mm. and unless you come to that awareness that see it comes with challenges because you both are not born the same day from the same parent mm. and you didn't grow in the same environment so you have to know that certain things that will show up might not align with mm. maybe what your values or how you were brought up now understanding will come Compromise will come. I will Selflessness be, I will, I will will be of a slightly different opinion mm. as to healthy relationship because my belief that it is built mm. in the process within the process. The relationship. The healthy relationship. Okay. The relationship comes first mm. before the health, the nature, the the issue of it being healthy or mm. unhealthy comes okay. because you know that, uh, that when something starts, mm. you can't call it healthy or unhealthy because mm. at that point you can't tell. Okay. You see, w- Sambo Sloman said something earlier on. You can go into a relationship and then you discover certain things. You will not remain there because oh, uh, of some mushy feelings or because change is So constant. what do we call that period? So, you, you you know, you don't just jump into relationship like that. There are people that believe in, oh, love at first time. I, I just saw this lady, I love her and I'm going into relationship with her without even understanding what her values is, what her standards, what her principles. They go into relationship and they discover certain things that does not align with what they believe or what they stand for. It's okay for you to leave that relationship I- in case that's the, like the bedrock of how you actually started that relationship. But there are certain people that choose to be friends with those people. And then in the process of becoming friends with them or in the process of the friendship, they, they, they talk and they understand the person. They get to know the person more and they maybe they are comfortable at that stage to say, oh, I really want to go into relationship with this person. Oh, this myself and this person will fit, like coming together. And then it, it, you can even go into that relationship and eventually, even after becoming friends and knowing yourself, eventually people change. There are so many factors that influence people's behaviors or attitude or even actions. People change. So even if you choose to be friends with that person and then based on what you have noticed, you decide to go into a relationship. If the person change, like what the action, the attitude does not align with what you stand for, nobody tied you there. You can actually go out of that relationship. I, like it's not late. It's, if, if we just allow the world to set standards for us and we think that certain things are like they are a must if he's not acting like this person, that means it's not relationship. He's not acting like this person. But what what does the Bible say about love? What is even love? And then w- that for me, that's the basis for an, for a healthy relationship. Okay. Well, I but would uh, like yeah, to yeah. say yeah. that um, a healthy relationship is one that has to do with understanding. First of all, the two parties having a mutual understanding and then willing to make sacrifices, willing to compromise. This person is not at this end and the other one at that end and they don't even want to make efforts to see that the relationship progresses healthily in uh, in whatsoever aspect. But then a lot of people, why they don't choose to be in a relationship is because they don't even want to put in anything. They just want to be in their own comfort zone and do all the things that they do. They feel like another person coming to into their world is going to try to manipulate or control whatsoever it is they have been doing. But then for you to have a healthy relationship, just like you said earlier on, 
you need to have a relationship first of all and then it must have progressed to an extent for you to see if so far it is healthy or not and then you know what to do and what not to do does healthy mean absence of viruses no so what what are we talking about they are what? there but you're willing to work okay so if 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 for instance now if we say jemima is healthy what do we mean i'm fit okay yes but void of but yeah, void of mm, viruses virus, right yes. if they see one virus in you immediately they are you healthy to work on it no but the fact that no, with no, immediate no. effect, no, 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 you're no, no. willing hold to on. <laughs> hold on <laughs> jamima is healthy mm-hmm. okay let me say the mouthy one joyce is healthy <laughs> Put your money where your mouth is. Put your mouth where your <laughs> money is. Joyce, Joyce, you are very healthy. What does that mean? I'm fit. I'm okay. I'm not without any constraint. Okay. Mm. We have seen a virus of typhoid in you. I'm not healthy. So is there really a healthy relationship? Yes. <laughs> okay, where have we seen that? Even Adam and Eve, they didn't have a healthy relationship. Mm-hmm. Maybe if Jesus was married, mm-hmm. we would have seen a perfect example of what. Well, I would say when they talk about healthy, healthy. is your willingness mm-hmm. to attack whatever the virus, virus mm-hmm. that okay. came. So, so that is what makes so, but, it well, healthy. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Is there any healthy relationship? Yes. Okay. Oh. What? How? How? How do you define that? Okay. You know, I said relationship is not without challenges. Mm. And that might be the like the virus, or you can liken it to the bacteria. But myself accepting that there is something wrong, and I'm willing to work. So if on there's it. something wrong, mm. is it healthy? And I realize, or even if somebody points it to me, and I'm See, ready let's to not, work let's on not, it. See, let's not, let's not, let's not. For me, let's not deceive people watching. There's nothing like healthy relationship, because a relationship is a combination of bitter and sweet. True. Okay. I, I if you have to keep dealing. With the viruses mm. as they come, mm. I think we should even say sweet relationship because when you say healthy and you know that something is coming to attack, mm. it's like someone living with sickle cell. Mm. You can't say the person is healthy mm. True. because there is a constant sickness within mm-hmm. the person. Mm. Someone living with HIV AIDS, you can't say he's healthy, mm. but the person is working hard, taking drugs, mm. taking painkillers, and all of that. You can't call that person healthy. And in the in the medical profession, doctors are not trained to check you and not see anything wrong with you. Mm-hmm. Meet any doctor. Mm-hmm. Just say you have gone for general check. They say you are fine. But I think you should be taking this mm-hmm. for a week to clear this. It's not, it's not anything much, but just they cannot say that you are 100% healthy. Mm-hmm. There's no doctor that has said that. Which relationship can we find that is 100% healthy? Well, well I, I feel I, I think th- th- we <laughs> out there they use the word healthy mm. not like like um total absence of of mm. uh, but I want us to use it in the best sense of the word okay yes yes <laughs> yes <laughs> okay. I want us to yes. use it in the best sense of the word yes. Joy said something mm. that was about to answer the question but mm. then she spoiled it by saying healthy <laughs> <laughs> relationships are not void of challenges mm. Mm. And by that, you cannot call it unhealthy relationship. And by that, you can still not call it healthy relationship. You can have a good relationship with someone. Why is it good? Because you fight a lot. But after fighting, you you make it right. It's a good relationship. Or you have a perfect relationship. It's better than say you have healthy. Even if there are challenges, you can't be called perfect relationship. Yes, but what makes it perfect? What it's makes it perfect? To make it right. Because, but if you say healthy, that means you have fixed something that will not come back forever. Which relationship have we seen exemplified in that manner? Even in the Bible. I've read a place that said that our marriage shall have troubles. <laughs> it's in the Bible. So you, you, you just need to know like she started saying she will always start something well and <laughs> only God knows what happens at the end. Only you, you see, you need to know that when you come into somebody's life, my name is Tony. 
I'm not coming into another Tony's life. Mm-hmm. I'm coming into Jamima's life. She is coming into Tony's life. Mm-hmm. Oh, everybody knows me, soft, calm, cool. I, I accept. <laughs> I think they should be setting cameras in this studio and be going out. <laughs> Why would people make me look like a liar in this life? <laughs> you know, but 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 you should know that there are there are parts of me that exist mm-hmm. that are not easy. Mm-hmm. And if you want to call it a healthy relationship, your ability to not let that affect you mm-hmm. makes the relationship healthy. Yes. Mm-hmm. My ability to not let your weaknesses affect me makes the relationship healthy. Yes. Because you when you are talking about they do it. We resolve. Mm. We fight. We resolve. Why can't we avoid fighting mm. to make it healthy? If you know that this is the nature of this person, when he does these things, you tolerate. Mm. But when you keep talking, the talking makes him do these things more because it is a challenge to the person. Mm. See, they told you that this car does not come with AC, but you are always angry that when you drive, the car is hot. They told you that this car is a four-speed uh, uh, gear shift. You bought it. Now, you are on gear four. It's sounding like you should go to the fifth gear. And you are complaining. No, you, you read the manual. He told you that this is what this thing is incapacitated to do. As well as this is what it is capacitated to do. You took it home. And now you are waiting for a dog to become a camel in your house. How is that possible? There is no one perfect relationship. There is no one healthy relationship mm. as far as my, uh, my methodology is concerned about love. Mm. It's just that if you have to tolerate people for who they are, you tolerate them. Mm. If you want to get angry, get angry on your own. Mm. If she wants to get angry, let her get angry on your own. But the fact remains that you are still related. Mm. If you define relationship that way, you will not have blood pressure. You, nothing will disturb you. Mm. Because you are always... You are, you are always at an intercourse with the person, even if not at sexual level, mm. just thinking of your wife mm. is an intercourse. Mm. Just intimately feeling your wife or your husband is an intercourse. Mm. Seeing something in the market and want to pick it for your husband or your wife is an intercourse. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Imagine. I'm, I'm looking at it from the, angle, from the angle that the two are agreeing to walk with the standard of the Bible. Mm. Mm. The two willingly mm. agreeing to work with the standard set by the Bible. It's, it's, and di- then it's difficult, especially yeah. for women, sir. It's yeah. difficult for a woman mm. to accept who you are. Mm. Mm. But men accept women they are, are the way they are easily. Mm. Sir, I will give you an, a very common example I always give. Mm. It's very common with every woman in this life. Mm. When It's simple and it doesn't sound strong, mm. but there is sense behind it. When you give a woman 10,000 at home to buy food stuff. Does she buy for 10,000? Even if you pick a 100 naira to buy the charge card without asking me, you cheated on me. They used to add to the 10,000. No, but I'm saying, right, that is, that is, that is, that is well understood. Mm. When a woman does something at home without the consent of her husband, mm. is that right? No. When you discover something, when your father discovers something mm. on his own, at home, without him being told. Have you ever seen his reaction? Was it ever good? <laughs> it's his nature. It's his nature. If, if, if a woman adds, like Joyce is saying, if she adds money to buy something, she will make sure you know. <laughs> and she's not letting you know so that you will say, ah, she's a good... No, she's letting you know so that you will appreciate her and record it. <laughs> so that when the hard time comes, you will remember that God gives one as well as the other, <laughs> according the to other. Ecclesiastes. <laughs> but you see, when she takes out money from what you have given her, you will never discover. Mm. You will discover, but she will never tell you. Discovering from her, telling you, no, you will not. <laughs> when you see new stuff at home, and you are not the one that foots the bill, appreciate them and pass, if you don't want to have high blood pressure. It's your money. Mm. Women don't do anything with their own money. They keep it. They do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do. Some they, they do. do. But <laughs> when they... Okay, like when, what? They when do. They, when they, they start... Give me an they, example. Give me an example. Some, you, do you know that some can ask you for a refund since marriage? Since no, no like day, what do they, they do with their own money? Let me hear. 
They can help the husband buy, buy land, pay house rent, buy food stuff, pay school fees. Name one school woman fees. you know that that, that, that bought, bought uh, land for the husband. <laughs> I know. No, <laughs> name, <laughs> I just give us her name now. Let's appreciate her on the show. They will know her name to be mentioned, but I Anonymous. know women <laughs> that paid school fees. I know women that paid house rent just when the husband is saying, I'm thinking of, and they say, I've cleared it. Mm. Amazing. There are women like that. Mm. We know. Mm. There are women like that. I know so many We're women around me that, mm. do, that even take care of the family. Mm. Mm. But you know, there are some that I'm talking about mm. that when you do things like that, if you see it as equally your responsibility because at that point your husband is incapacitated, mm. then we should clap for you. Mm. But when you take out and you don't say, it, oh, women that don't, okay, sh- now you said that she did it and she told the husband, don't worry, I'm taking mm. care yeah, of that, be. right? When husbands come home, do, do, do the women say, from that money you gave, I deposited 2000 for rapper from it? Have you ever heard that? <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> there will be what? Talk S- of what? Do. do you understand? <laughs> some do, but very, very few. Mm. Very, if you, very if they do, sir, if mm. they do, they know that the man will not be happy. Mm. And it's not a good thing. Mm. Mm. Because men calculate. Mm-hmm. If a man sees that there is nothing completely at home, nothing completely at home if he's bringing out money to give you he's expecting because why is there nothing at home because he got to a point that he didn't have anything that's why there's nothing at home mm. now he has looked for this 10k why is 10k very loud on the show he has looked for this 20k mm. and he has given you he's expecting that when he comes back he should see a 20k worth of things mm. at home mm. he will appreciate you you see, women, you don't have to waste time to ask us to do stuff for you. Mm-hmm. If you do the right thing, you shall see. Mm. Really, really, thank mm. you everyone for <laughs> having this discussion. Solo it's such a beautiful Solo time is. today. <laughs> Just <laughs> like we... Already. Oh my <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Just like we have learned, you don't have to be in a relationship if it is not yet time. But if you can handle it, why not? Hope you learned a lot. See you next time. Bye. Thank you.